Business Today is brought to you by This is Business Today, and I'm Vic Fernandes. Businesses must always keep consumers at the forefront of their policies. According to senior economists with the CARICOM Competition Commission, Barry Headley, this is especially critical when businesses are looking for new ways to become more competitive. He says while it is important for companies to make a profit, they should do so while benefiting consumers and giving high-quality service. Headley was addressing a one-day sensitization workshop on competition law and policy at the Savannah Beach Hotel yesterday. From a competition perspective, we like the idea of all those people competing against each other. We would hope that that would generate innovation. We would hope that that would keep prices at a certain level to the benefit of consumers. And if they're lucky enough, maybe even drive down prices, which will always benefit consumers, while they get the same or a higher level of service. Mr. Headley acknowledges that opening the door to more competition while encouraging innovation is not an easy one. However, he says it's up to the consumers to speak out and demand better service from companies. But that is why we have the jurisdictions. The role of advocacy plays a big part in how, co how companies respond to consumers. Because as a group, they make their voice heard. And then there's, a, there's change, whether at the regulatory level or at the com company level. Minister of International Business, Industry, Commerce and Small Business Development, Don Villinis, says competition is critical if local firms are to become more innovative. He says it should be the desire of Barbadian companies to be successful globally. Mr. Innes shared his views while addressing the opening of the CARICOM Competition Commission workshop. I subscribe to the view that constant calls for the government to ban the importation of items or to impose very high levels of taxation have never and will never bring about the level of competition or innovation that is needed to drive our economy forward. I am ever mindful of issues surrounding employment levels and cultural identity and other socio-economic factors, but let us not dwell on the past, but rather focus on the future. Jamaica fell one spot to rank 83 in this year's Global Information Technology Report. The decline reflected continued low scores on the usage and impact of technology, according to the report published this month. Within the Caribbean, Trinidad and Tobago outranked Jamaica at number 67. The 2016 report, published by the World Economic Forum, did not include rankings for Puerto Rico and Barbados, which also previously outperformed Jamaica. Now for today's financial tip. You should know the minimum cash your business needs to survive and ensure you do not fall below this. Even the most profitable companies can face difficulties if there isn't enough cash to cover your weekly or monthly costs such as rents and wages. That's been the business today. Join us again on Thursday. Until then, you can get more business and news by logging on to www.barbadostoday.bb, subscribing to our e-paper and liking us on Facebook. I'm Vic Fernandes. Let's go Grenada for a pure carnival experience. Pure jab. Pure mass. Pure fun. Spice Mass 2016 climaxes on the 8th and 9th of August. Plan your carnival vacation now at www.puregrenada.com.